Hello everyone and welcome back to the G-Scale Train Guys. Now, today I have an interesting video for you. We're going to be explaining how a switch works. Now, we're going to get started by explaining how the switch works and then I have a train car here filled with um, a candy of a well-known brand. It's chocolate. So, first things first. We're going to move this out of the way so we can make sure everything is well. And so, first things first, this is how a switch works. Your train is coming along on both tracks here. Now, this front wheel on the car, and all of the wheels for that matter, will come along here. Now, the front wheel, well, just, just best to demonstrate it with the car on. Maybe. So, there we go. Alright, so, this front wheel here comes along and is picked up by this rail here. Now, as it continues onwards, there's a little plastic piece here. That keeps the wheels from coming off in this intersection or junction or whatever you want to call it right here. So you can see nothing is going to happen even on a wobbly day or with a heavy load inside such as rocks instead of candy. So it goes onwards, not a big problem at all. Now that's how the switch works if you want to go into a siding or this could be the main line, you really don't know. Now we're going to flip our switch and now we're going to explain how this works. So this line here is now clear to go continue on into wherever. And this one has been moved over into this position here. That will pick up this wheel. And as it continues onward, another plastic piece here again. It will continue onwards. And even if the car is shaky, nothing's going to happen. Now, we're going to bring our car on over here. Now, this switch here is a spring-loaded switch. Which means it's spring-loaded, as the name implies. So, a train's come across here and is going onwards. Now, what that means is the switch is in this position, and let's say the train conductor at the front of this train doesn't know. Your train comes to back up, and nothing happens. That's because it's spring-loaded. So when our wheel came here, it pushed the switch out of the way, no harm to the train or switch, and just moved it out of the way, and our train operator can be on his merry little way. Now, that means nothing in that since so now that's how a switch works and this is a spring-loaded switch you can scale this up or down and it will work basically the same way there are electric switches out here that can do all the work for you and um, they're controlled either by remote control and smaller scale operations or in the real world by towers that uh, overlook yards or just a simple man hopping out of his train to change the switch and this works with a switch that would face the other way. I would flip this around but I don't have the table on. So that is how a switch works. And with these next clips of the train running, I hope to clear up some questions that I've come up with, not necessarily that have been in the comments, and why you can't comment. That is all coming up now. Okay, so now that we're done talking about that, I'm going to quickly go over some things. First of all, a new upload schedule. Um, now, every other Sunday, I will be uploading a video to this channel. So, for instance, I uploaded one this Sunday, so there won't be one next Sunday, but there will be another one that next Sunday. So that is our new upload schedule. Um, now, in the last video I did, I had mentioned going live, and I planned to do that. I even attempted to, and I pressed go live, and I got a thing saying I couldn't. So, uh, you have to have a 10,000 subscriber count or more, and you also um, have to make it to where children can't watch your videos, which brings me to why you can't comment in children views. Mm -hmm. So, when I upload a video, I go into another app designed for creators, made by YouTube, that tells me if I can say this is for kids or if I can't. If it is for kids, then it turns off comments and disables mini player when you swipe down to look at other videos. So that is turned off immediately and I can't fix it unless I say these aren't for kids and I don't want to do that because I enjoy targeting a young audience as well as an old one. I'm not saying it's just for young kids, but that is one thing that I have to consider each and every time I upload a video, is it kind of safe for kids? And all of our videos are, which means that's why we are um, the channel that we are. So I want to briefly go over video resolution. I film all of my videos from now on in 4K, um, however I upload them in 1080p, which means now 
I think I upload them in 1080p. I mean to upgrade, update them in 4K. Um, until I can get comments working, I won't really ever be able to know if I'm updating, uploading, excuse me, them in 1080p or 4K. Um, I would say comment below, but you can't. So I'll just go on not knowing. And 1080p for now is an exceptional range. So that's kind of all the things I had come up with. Um, so our new upload schedule, uh, why we can't live stream, uh, why we can't do comments, and the mini player and all that stuff, and video resolution. So thank you for watching, goodbye.